Albuquerque Public Schools is changing the way it trains students and staff to deal with an active shooter. The district says students and teachers will now be more proactive if that scenario ever happens. News 13's Rachel Knapp is live outside Washington Middle School with what's changing. Rachel? Kim, APS schools like Washington Middle School, students and teachers are taught to lock down, hide, and wait until help arrives if an active shooter is on campus. But now school officials are pushing for students and teachers to save themselves by any means necessary. A real crisis can strike anywhere and at any time. Within the past few years, schools across the nation have dealt with an active shooter. 17 were killed at Major East Stoneman Douglas in Parkland, Florida. 26 killed at Sandy Hook Elementary in Connecticut, and two killed at Aztec High School just last year. Now, Albuquerque Public Schools say it's changing the way students and teachers handle an active shooter. In the past, it was lock your door, hide, and wait for someone to come get you. We talked about what, everybody, what, the, what was going on across the country as well as here in Albuquerque, and that's how we came about deciding to go with the ALICE protocol. Which stands for alert, lock down, inform, counter, and evacuate. We're told the program will allow students and teachers become more proactive, like learning how to barricade doors and escape through windows, and even how to distract the shooter. We're not really training people to swarm the, 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 the shooter in, in this case. Um, we're trying to train them how to distract them and then to move and not just be a sitting target. If you walked into a room and 30 people threw books at your head, you're going to flinch. You're going to move and it gives you a couple seconds to start running. Officials say the old way of doing things is not as effective. The ALICE protocol gives students and teachers a fighting chance. When we go to work and we send our kids off to school, we trust that they're going to be protected and they're going to come home at the end of the day. No one can predict or prepare for every single scenario that is possible, but how we respond is what matters. APS also says upgrades on their communications and camera systems are in the works that will give law enforcement a better picture as to what's happening and where it's happening. The district also wants to limit access to schools like more fencing is one of those ideas. Kim. Okay, thanks, Rachel. Now, the district says officers will start training students and staff soon. They hope everyone is up to date on the newest procedures by November.